everybody. Um, <coughs> a little vlog here. Happy New Year. Even though I'm a few days behind. Happy New Year. Um, how's everyone's 2013 going? First of mine was kind of creepy the other night. I had the statue. Like, I, I was on the Kindle, laying in bed. On my bed, whatever. And, like, I hear, like, something hit my guitar and then glass breaking. So I get up. And behind my bed is a broken statue. If that, um, statue would have gone, like, a foot more this way, it would have, uh, like, hit me in the head and I probably would have had to go to hospital with stitches. And my parents are like, what are you going to do with this thing? I'm like, I don't want it. It's haunted. That's what I say. It's haunted. You know. You can't have haunted things. And then this morning, first block, like, the teacher was going to play a song. And then, uh, so he turned on the projector. And a few moments later, we hear this loud pop noise. Like, it sounds kind of like someone blowing this, uh, popping this huge bubble from bubble gum. Or, like, um, slamming a book on the floor. It was the, uh, projector bulb. And the teacher said the other day, he was talking, like, how good the bulb was not going out in a while. Apparently he jinxed it. He's a major jinx. I can't wait for Wednesday, because, um, my boyfriend's coming over and we're gonna go to church together. We're, pro we're probably, like, just gonna watch Spongebob before church. Something on TV. Spongebob. I, I like Spongebob. Maybe, yeah. Dinner. It would be awesome. Sp I mean, wh what's more awesome than sitting on your living room couch and watching Spongebob with your boyfriend? You know? I, I like how me and him can be like super crazy. But at the same time, we're a bit cutesy to each other. And it's really awesome being with him. So yeah. And it's like yesterday we had new seats in science and um, the teacher called my name to choose somebody and it's like you can choose anyone other than Caleb. I'm like, what the heck? Thank goodness he was just joking. So me and Okay, that gets to sit together in science class, which is good. Very good. And I, I like sitting by him in science. He, he's really smart. He's like, um... <clears throat> super really smart. <sighs> so yeah, he's like... Smart. I wish I was that smart, man. You know that? I, I wish I was smart. I mean, I guess I am to some extent. And then there's a stupid class called STARS. Anybody who goes to MCHS, do you have that class? I, I hate it. And it's like, there's a stupid project we gotta do, and if we don't do it, we, like, fail or something. And so, yeah. And it's like, what's the sense to pass this class if... I mean, if I don't pass it, I still pass ninth grade. What's the sense of even passing that class, you know? But yeah, I as a pillow. Um, yeah. I was gonna say something a minute ago. But yeah, like, after, like, people got their seats, it's like these people just start coming up to us, and me and my boyfriend, and they're, like, asking us questions and all that. And then today, in AA, advisor, advisee, um, this one goes like, uh, me and my boyfriend are cute together, and, yeah. So that me and my boyfriend are cute together, so. Um, yesterday was three weeks. <sighs> next Saturday, I, I think next Saturday will be a month with him. 
the 13th? 13th? Yeah. No. Next Sunday will be a month of him. Next Saturday is the 12th. Not this coming Saturday. This coming up Saturday is the 5th. That's tomorrow. But a week from today, I'm going on a church competition um, called TNT, Top Nazarene Talent. It's, it's in Georgetown, Kentucky. So, yeah, it, it's really awesome. I love it there. Uh, this will be, um, my third year at TNT. Last year, the first year I went, 2011, I didn't win anything. Second year, last year, 2012, I won third place in poetry, which is pretty good. And so I wrote a poem for this time. I'm hoping I do good. I hope. See, I'm not going to complain if I don't get first place. I mean, that'd be pretty friggin' sweet if I did get first place, but I'm perfectly fine with third. Third's fine for me. I'm okay with third place. And then, um, but what sucks about next weekend, I won't get to talk to my boyfriend. Because I don't have one of those fancy iPhones or iPod touches where you can, uh, Facebook, you know, through your little device thingy. And I don't even think our hotel's gonna have Wi-Fi, so... <coughs> But I'll probably call him. You know. But what's really weird, our the church is like by a train track. It's like every fifteen or some odd minutes or so, however long, you can hear a train going by. However it sounds. I mean it's like every church events, whether it be church camp or TNT. It's always near a train track. TNT, Georgetown, train track. By the church. And then, um, church camp at Trevecca. Our dorm room? Behind it? Like, not immediately behind it. There was, like, a driveway, whatever. Road of it. Maybe a few trees. And then there was a train track. And then, I woke up in the middle of the night. I don't know if I told you this story before. I wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> However, a train sounds, you know, I'm, I, I was wakened by that loud noise. It's like, there's people trying to sleep. You see, I'm from a small town. We, apparently, we had trains years ago. Apparently, that's out now. I don't know why. I think trains are pretty cool until they derail. Derail. So yeah. One type of train you won't catch me dead on? Underground subway trains. But anyway. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, me being from a small town we don't have trains. So we're not really used I'm not really used to uh you know. The sound of trains going by every frickin' fifteen minutes. So yeah, but it's really cool. And I made this tradition the first year of camp that as soon as I wake up and I have my glasses, like when I wake up and get my glasses on and look out the window, I have to say good morning to something. The first year is Colonel Sanders. Um, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Second year is Fazoli's because uh, we worked on the side facing KFC, so I had to choose something. I chose Fazoli's. Something like that. Um, I think there's a sign with a tomato on it, so I think it's Fazoli's. Maybe? It's something like that. Spaghetti. Italian like. And so, one of the things I probably will never let, d let down is. or live down, whatever. Is. Good morning, Colonel Sanders! And this year, like, there's more people going since they're old enough to go this year. And then for uh, church camp, um, my cousin might go her first year. I don't know how she's going to take it because she's never spent a week without her mom or without her family. 
But her brother, hopefully, is going to be going, so she won't be all alone. And then uh, me being her cousin, your family. Your stuff is ready. Okay. I get to go soon. Dinner time. I'm already past ten minutes. But yeah, I I hope my cousin does well. Or the cousin. She's like twelve, so. You know, being family, you gotta care for your younger family, you know. Like, I felt horrible, utterly horrible one day, because me and her were goofing off in the church parking lot. And I, we were pushing each other a bit, and I accidentally pushed her too hard, and she fell. I made her cry. Do you know how horrible I felt? Horrible. Thank goodness she forgave me. Thank goodness. I felt horrible for making her cry. Y you don't feel good when you make someone younger, then you cry. Makes you feel like crap. Unless it's an annoying sixth grader who's bugging you to death, putting you down just because you still have an iPod shuffle instead of an iPhone. But See, this 6th grader has an iPhone, I still have an iPod Shuffle. She's like, you have a Shuffle? Something like that? I'm like, yeah. It's like, wow. I I'm proud of my little, of my little iPod Shuffle. See that? I mean, sure, it was only like $40 or something, but I bought it with my birthday money one year. You know? And cell phones? $10 track phone. It's like four years old. I'm perfectly fine. But I haven't made that person cry yet. I think I just made her hate my guts, which is perfectly fine by me. Haters gonna hate. Anyway, I gotta go now. I've gotta eat dinner. So, um, Happy New Year's. Um, I'll make a vlog someday. Someday, whenever it is. Um, peace out, peoples. Peace out to my fans. Bye.